welcome to yet another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. Today I'm going to show you the tune Der Bodkin Freilock, a klezmer tune. And I'm going to do a few lessons on this tune. This one I'm going to show you in a lower octave, and then I'll do a separate lesson in a higher octave, and then I'll do another lesson about how to add variation to it. So I'm just going to get started and play this fun tune, and then we'll get into uh, learning it we're going to note by note, phrase by phrase way. fun tune. So I'll start by saying that, uh, well, in order to do this tune you need to know raise third finger and be pretty good with your pinky and low two. Alright, and if not, um, I'll post videos, if you need help with those things, I'll post videos, links to videos I've done on that below in the comments field. And all fingerings, left hand fingerings, I'll indicate also in the comments field below. Uh, so, a good scale to practice would be... So that's on D, we're going to go open, one, low, two, raise, third, four. Even just that alone will help you a lot on this song. Another good one to practice would be to throw in the regular third finger because that happens. And maybe to alternate regular third with high third. That's regular three, now high three. And then on the A string for this scale we're doing open, one, low two. Three. Putting it all together again. Or instead of using open A, use fourth finger on the way up. So if you practice that a fair amount, this tune will become a lot easier. Alright, here we go. Starting with this. Open D to first on G. And then to low two on D, three on D. That's actually high three, sorry about that. Good little piece to practice, it's technically hard. Good. And now we're going to go to the fourth finger. That's fourth on D. Good. And then after that we're going to do this. So that's low, high three, back to four, down to low two. So we have... Good piece to practice. This is probably the hardest technical thing we'll have to do in the tune. Again. Um, by the way, if that's just a little too hard for you, there's a simplification you can do. You can do... A little easier.
easier little instead of doing the which I think is technically really a weird going from high three to four back to low twos. If you're kind of intermediate or beginner, might be better to just do. Um, even if you're advanced, it's good to know that that simplification can be a variation you could do. But it, back to the thing I'm, uh, the basic version I'm showing you. And then after that, we're going to do this. Let's open A. It's a low two, one, open on D. Oops. put all this together. Instead of doing open A, you could use your pinky or fourth finger. There's that again. Good. The next phrase, the next quarter is very similar. Those are very long notes on the A open A or fourth on D, and those are half notes, so they get two counts. I'll do that again, the whole second quarter. Alright, third quarter, same as the first. Exactly the same as the first. Fourth quarter. one on D, going one, low two, regular three, tricky but not, ment not it's mentally tricky because we've been doing high three, but technically not super hard. There's that a few times. Good. So good work. I'm now going to play the entire A part very slowly. If you're unsure of any part, go back and listen, rewind and listen to those parts. And then maybe the first time just listen through to the and then uh, to the whole A part. And then if you think you can do it, rewind and play along. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and four.
So the second time through, you may have noticed I forgot to do the on the first quarter. And it totally works. So um, anyhow, now we'll do the B part, starting open A. Okay, easy enough. Open one, low two one. Then we're gonna go to three. That's kind of hard. So that's low, th uh, sorry, high three on D. Walking up to low two on A. So this whole first quarter of the B part to Durbanken is. Here's that again. Next part, starting three on A. So you see, if you if you practice that scale I showed you at the beginning, this becomes really easy, especially this part, because you just walk down the scale and back up. Now we're going to, for the third quarter, we just repeat the first quarter of the B part. Fourth quarter. Let's break that one up a little bit. So starting high three on D to open A. and one on A. And then we're gonna do, go back to high three, and, and an A again. So we have, here's that again. That's followed by a triplet, starting low two on D. One, two, three. I'm going to add to that. Here it is again. One more time. I'm now going to just play the entire fourth quarter a few times. If you're not sure, just listen and maybe rewind if you have to. Three, four. Okay, very good work. Now let's do the whole B part slowly, like we did the A part. I'll count you in. Listen for it first if you have to, and then try to play along. Rewind and play along. Um, here we go. One and two and three and four. Another B part.
that's it for Gerard Confredoc. I hope you like it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.